Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that's been requested a few times, which is all about the perfumes that I wear the most all the time in 2022. I think I've done videos like this in the past, but obviously things do change. I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys which ones I have stayed loving over the years and any new ones that are coming to my most worn. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I have hundreds of perfume videos just like this, including detailed range reviews going through all the different versions of the ones I'm gonna talk about. So do check them out as well as my blog, which also has detailed range reviews. And if you're a regular, don't forget to check to see if you are actually subscribed. Most people that watch the videos actually aren't subscribed, um, so do check. And of course you can sign up to my newsletter in the link down below as well so you don't miss anything. And if you don't know by now, I am creating my own fragrance launching later this year and you can effectively pre-order it now on Kickstarter, um, link down below as well. And of course I'll put the links to where you can buy all these perfumes I talk about um, in UK, Europe, North America, Canada, Australia, where they're available. They'll be down in the description box. So the way that I sort of operate my perfumes, I guess, is the ones that I use all the time, my most worn, I keep on my dressing table so they're accessible while I'm getting ready. And then I have storage for all my other perfumes. So these are the ones that I keep on my dressing table that I use all the time and reach for. So I'm gonna start with one that's like definitely obvious. And if you're a regular viewer here, you will have guessed this straight away. Um, that is of course, Jimmy Chiu de Parfum. Um, I just bought a new one actually the other week because I'd run out. This is the 100 ml size. Now, Jimmy Chiu de Parfum is my favorite scent like in the world ever. Beautiful, fresh, clay clean fruity pear really refreshing and then you've got undertones of patchouli and toffee but it's not too sweet mm, i'm just addicted to the scent so if when i get ready at my dressing table perhaps i'm just going to be at home working you know just a normal day this is the one that i'll reach to as like my everyday scent the only thing about jimmy Choo is that it doesn't have amazing projection so if i'm going out i don't always wear this i will wear something that i feel is stronger i tend to wear this more around the house or just like for chilled type things but i just love the perfume and i know that i have seen quite a number of comments from you guys saying that when you wear it you get compliments people can smell it on you so maybe it's just me maybe i've smelt it so much i can't smell it on myself anymore but i do love it i love the body cream as well that which i use as a hand cream and i am really hoping that they bring out an intense version a stronger version they did have an odor um like a parfum strong version years ago which was great and i love jimmy Choo stars as well which was discontinued but another amazing thing about jimmy Choo is it's been out now over 10 years i think and you can usually find it really heavily discounted, you know, 30% off, 40% off, so you don't have to spend a lot for it. I tend to order them sometimes from Amazon as well, which has them at a great price, and the gift sets as well are usually really good value, which is where you can get that body lotion. So yeah, that's my favorite um, go-to perfume. So the next one is Irresistible Givenchy, which is another pear perfume. Now you can see that I've nearly run out of this. I've been using it a lot, um, and then I'm trying to use it less because I don't want it to run out. And then I have to buy a new one, and it's crazy because I have so many perfumes. Buying a new perfume seems mental. But anyway, this again has that fresh fruity pear, but then it has quite a delicate and a very sparkling rose. I love Givenchy perfumes, particularly ones with rose in for whatever reason there's no other brand that creates perfumes that have that same rose sparklingness to them their angie demon i had the the purple elixir one secret elixir was amazing yeah the tall very irresistible ones um and now this one this is the eau de parfum which is my the one that i recommend out of the three they have now again it's not super strong projection so i do tend to wear this more around the house during the day um, but it's just super feminine and it does have that really otherworldly sparkling vibe and I just love pear in perfumes. 
So another one which has nearly run out is YSL Mon Pari. Now this is the one that I tend to turn to when I am going out, um, even in an evening, when I really want people to be able to smell my fragrance. I find that the projection lasting power on YSL Mon Pari is so good, I love it. So it's my favorite perfume in the sense of going out and um, having something I can rely on. It has a strawberry top note, and then it has patchouli and rose, reminiscent of Misty Or and um, Eau de Parfum, the one that was discontinued recently, and reminiscent of the sort of rosiness of Givenchy, but with much more power with that patchouli. Um, and then that strawberry on top, keeping it like fruity. It's just really addictive and it's feminine and pretty, but I find it is sophisticated, even though it has strawberry in. I have the intense version of this as well. I have tried them all. I think the original Eau de Parfum is my favorite. And again, what's amazing is you can usually get this really reduced or the gift sets and stuff as well. I really wanna get the body cream again. And I have a little mini of it that I keep in my handbag, which is really great projection. I find the mini, cause it's not a spray, it's just like a blot is even better than the spray for like lasting whenever I've just topped it up, like in the loo, in the loo people will always say, oh my God, what's that perfume? Um, so this is definitely a go-to. So now that the weather has changed, um, it's coming up to summertime now, we're sort of around 20 degrees here in London. Um, I tend to bring out some more summery scents um, that become my like everyday scent as well. So recently I've been using um, Bronze Goddess. This is the O Fresh version. I've been using this quite a bit. I recently took this away on holiday with me um, because it just makes you feel like summer. It has the coconut in, and then it has tiari flower, which is one of my favorite fragrance notes. It's a tropical flower, and there are no smells like it in nature here in the UK. You only really get that smell in like a tropical island, and I love tiari flower. I'd love to use it in one of my own fragrances one day. And I do find this is great for during the day, summer vibes, makes you feel summery, reminds me of like really nice expensive um, body lotions like Lancaster. There is an Eau de Parfum version which is even heavier, I have that as well. Um, and they've just released a new week version which has a slightly spiciness to it. Got a video and an article that explains them all. But this is one I've been turning to a lot um, in the past couple of months. And then if I have like a special occasion, I use Erin Hibiscus Palm. Um, the reason why I only use this at special occasions is because they are quite expensive. So this is the 50 mil, yeah, 50 mil. And this was like 100 pounds. So I, I'm trying to use this sparingly. I've never been sent Erin by any brands. You, you know, you have to buy it yourself. The lasting power is amazing on this. Whenever I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. Um, I spray it on my coat as well, um, or jacket, and it tends to last for days on that. So it really is beautiful. Again, it's kind of like Bronze Goddess with that coconut and hibiscusy and that tropical chiari flower vibe. So perfect for summer um, and I love it, but I'm really trying to reduce, like keep my use of it really low because um, of the price, but it is just beautiful. All the Erin products are so beautiful. So another one that I've been using like more during the day, in the mornings, um, now that it, we're in summer, is the Light Blue Forever. So this is last year's limited edition of Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. They do have a new one out this year for 2020 called Light Blue Italian Love, which I'm trying to get hold of to review for you guys. But last year they released this, forever and it's an eau de parfum and normally light blues are eau de toilettes <sighs> and this has that tropical flower note in it that I love again but it doesn't have the coconuttiness it's just all focused on tropical flowers it really reminds me of the Mediterranean in the in this like summer when you get all the beautiful pink flowers coming out um so I've started using this every day but it is discontinued if it's still available, I'll leave the link, but because it's discontinued as well, I was like, oh, I should probably just use it up rather than just hoarding it. So yeah, this is like a really nice day-to-day. -day. It's definitely my favorite light blue, beautiful floral. Doesn't really have that lemony-ness um, of the original. It's quite different. 
Um, I think they are still available, so I'll, I'll leave the links, but this is was such a gem. I wish they'd bring it back like full time. And then lastly, my go-to perfume for like evenings, date night, sort of when you want something a little bit more elevated and sexy is Trezor Midnight Rose, one of my favorite fragrances. This is a really deep, syrupy, raspberry, uh, really nighttime, reminds me of I don't know, the Moon on Rouge or something. Really sensual, super, like a super strong, deep midnight berry. I have recently stopped using this because I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna be discontinued. I noticed most websites say it's out of stock at the moment. I've emailed Lancome and asked them if it's being discontinued and they haven't replied, which have made me even more nervous. So um, I am quite worried about this. So if you're a fan, I do recommend stocking up in case it goes. It's obviously quite old. It's been around for a while. They don't advertise it or promote it. So it is definitely the kind of thing that they would discontinue. But gosh, I'll be, uh, if they do, I'll have to buy like so many bottles because it's just such a wonderful perfume and there's nothing else that smells like it. It's amazing for lasting as well. So yes, hopefully this is staying. Cool guys, so those are my most worn perfumes at the moment, my go-to perfumes. Let me know what you keep on your dressing table, what are your most worn at the moment? Do you like any of these that I've been wearing? Let me know in the comments, I do read all your comments. And like I said, I'll link where you can get these and for my reviews on the rest of the ranges for all of these, um, down below in the description box. Um, but thank you so much for watching, do give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me, and I will see you in the next video, bye!